morning, y'all. We are in lockdown in England for the next four weeks. So what I thought I would do is make some of these videos. You're gonna get the normal videos on the channel because I kind of saw this coming, so we stockpiled. So you're gonna get the normal, we've got course vlogs and reviews and some great lessons. I'm gonna do a giveaway series built around some simple tips that you could probably practice in this next four weeks if you are locked down. And if you're not locked down, you can still practice them at home because it's winter in the UK, so you've got lots of indoor time. So these simple tips will be really focused on a skill that you can work on over the next four weeks that will help you lower your scores. Today's one, is putting and specifically today putting striking so striking your putter better so as today's one is a putting tip i've got a giveaway and we're going to have a giveaway in every one of these little tip videos because i've got this massive heavy bag full of clubs as i cleared out the office before lockdown and we've got a lot of spare equipment that we just don't need anymore and i want to send it to you yeah you so as today's a putting tip i've got a put out giveaway a mat some gates a mirror, perfect for practicing your putting strike. So three simple tips to help you improve your putting strikes. What you gotta to do to enter, first off you gotta hit the like button down there. If we get this video to 3000 likes, we're gonna give away this putting stuff. Second, you need to post a comment telling me how good are you at striking your putts and is it something you've ever thought about or not in that comment section. If you do that, you're entered. I'll we'll just hit that like button as well. And you have to be subscribed to this channel. I will send this putting stuff anywhere in the world. It's gonna be four weeks of giveaways. Four weeks of simple tips. Four weeks of lockdown for me. Four weeks of free prizes. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So why is strike so important? It's important because every putt you hit is gonna have a determined line set around how hard you hit it. So the softer I hit a putt, the more it's gonna break. The harder I hit a putt, the more it's gonna go through the break. You know, I can hit this quite straight and firm. So strike is gonna alter the pace of your putt as well as the start direction. So getting your strike consistent, the same as you do with your driver or your irons, is massively important for you to be able to hold more putts. And there's the key, it's about a consistent strike. So hitting it in the same place each time. It doesn't always have to be the middle. We can get a consistent speed. You can have a better chance of trying to pick the line, better than I did there anyway, and hold. Tip number one. Straight lines can help you with strike. So I'm going to aim this up the right side because it's the right the left breaking putt. I've got it very close to the butt end of my putter. Now what you're going to notice is that my putter pulls in, goes back out to its furthest point and then pulls in again. Subject to where my ball position, how I want to stand, all those kind of things. I'm going to reach my furthest out point, so back to the ball, at different points of my start, subject to how I want to play it. So for me to get the better strikes, I'm putting it just forward of my zipper here on my jumper and that's what allows me to get that putter out to that ball now that's not aimed far enough right so i'm just going to adjust because that was a good strike and it's this kind of repetitive training five minutes a day oh, it could be a fraction more right or harder quite like the pace i'm going to go a fraction more right that will make a massive difference when we get back to golf Five minutes a day, it's such a small amount and it can be fun. Set targets. There it is, so I found my sweet spot. I'm now just gonna leave that there for the day, come out here every hour or so when I get bored and hit a few putts. There's lines everywhere, obviously, if you haven't got a fancy Southwest Green in your garden. There's lines everywhere for you to use. Kitchen floor, you don't need to use a ball. I'm just using the lines on the floor again, trying to get that putter to come in, out, and in. If you're more of a straight back, straight through, it's the same applies. You're gonna get that reference point with your lines. Not many people are actually straight, straight back, straight through, to be fair. It's the drilling over and over again that's gonna make you get back on that course and feel familiar, ready to go, not thinking, whoa, where's this putter going? Strike tip number one. Right, tip number two, I'm gonna use that number on the ball and I'm gonna move my focus onto that point with the dot on top of my putter. So I've got two balls here and I'm gonna simply put that number 
just at that angle where I can see it, I'm gonna line up that dot with that three, and then I'm really gonna try my utmost, bearing in mind with the lines I've been thinking about, to marry those two up. Really moving that focus through to that strike point, having that physical point to line the two dots up. When I've measured it on my Sam Putt Lab, absolutely transforms my strike. Now, I'm not a big fan of lines on the ball and the putter, so I wouldn't use it in play, because I would always be second guessed if I've lined it up perfectly. So this can be done kind of to no real target. I mean, I'm putting to a hole there just for the visual, but you could do this, you know, just lining up the number on that ball with your lineup line on that putter and then hitting it whatever direction they feel they're lining up to. If you are someone who uses lines on your ball, then this, you know, you could dial this into what you're already doing with the line and trying to line up your dot or line on your putter with the line on the ball. Just having that visual, that real focus point, moves your attention to strike. Something that is not monitored enough, I don't think, in putting with students. So this one is simple, but often the simple ones are the best ones. Oh yeah, that really helps me focus on strike. Totally measuring those two up. I'll be really interested if this one helps you or not too. Let me know down there. Now the last one is the classic gate system. Obviously if you win the competition you'll have this. If you don't you could put boxes either side, boxes of balls, golf shafts either side. Obviously we've got the bonus of the mirror in this one. Hello. And the biggest thing for me with putting, it is about trying to do your system little and often. It's something you can really make a big difference. Oh, that's a wild one. Next time you hit the course, if you put the effort in. You know, I'm working on distance at the moment. I know there's bigger gains for me to be had in that department than here, but that doesn't mean you stop doing this. This is still vitally important if you're getting around the golf course in your lowest amount of shots. This one is still vitally important if you're saving situations, being able to knock putts in, being able to control strike. And putting this kind of work in every day will make a massive difference to your ability to shoot lower scores. I hope these three tips help your putting and your putting strikes. Remember, we've got the competition running. Subscribe, turn the bell on, hit the like, and hit that comment telling me what you're like at striking your putts. And is it something you've ever thought about? And you will be in with a chance of winning those great putt out training devices. Four weeks, everyone. Stay safe. There's going to be a lot of giveaways. Also in the comments down there, let me know what other tips you might want. Stuff that we can work on together for four weeks to help you. Is it like a grip change? How do you change the swing? Let me know. Post comments down below what you want the next one to be. We're going to do these, maybe three or four of these a week. Got a lot of clubs to get rid of. Bag needs to get lighter. Stay safe everyone. <laughs>